Hey everybody, it's Deb coming to you live tonight. Listen, I was just um, working with someone over the phone today and it just kind of got me thinking that I really need to share some of this information. Uh, this is just going to be a chitty chat about direct sales. So if you're interested in um, or thinking about joining a direct sales company, I'm going to share with you some very important things to think about before you just join any company. Um, sadly, I have been working with someone that reached out to me and she's just kind of lost. You know, she, she found someone, she thought that that was gonna be the ultimate partner for her. She didn't know who she was. She found her online on the internet as many of us do. I mean, I have personally done this myself. Um, I have been with several different direct sales companies and sometimes when you're joining a newer company, the only way to find a representative is online because not a lot of people are selling the product yet in your area. So this, um, this gal had reached out and joined a company uh, and thinking that, you know, that was just going to be the bee's knees. And then lo and behold, the sponsor has just shut her off and has not communicated with her, has not gotten her started, has not helped with anything. And she's really, really frustrated. And then when you join a company, you know, a lot of companies have certain rules where, you know, once you're with a sponsor, you can't change your sponsor. You can't just De delete your sponsor and try to find somebody else, unfortunately, um, you're kind of stuck. So the, the answers are either you can resign and start all over or stick it out and just be all by yourself. And I think that's why a lot of times some people don't do well with direct sales or have a bad taste in their mouth is because the whole experience is not enjoyable. So in my experience, because I, I have been in direct sales now for a little over 10 years. So I kind of know what I'm talking about because I've been there, I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot happen in this industry. And so hopefully I'll give you just a few tips that you can think about in joining a company. Now, number one, uh, the most important thing is really you just have to be passionate about the products. You really do. Um, you know, I, for example, well, of course, everybody knows I'm with Palma Farrah, right? So um, I also, I really love health and wellness products. I really love supplemental products. I have been with many supplemental companies before, but uh, there's just something that doesn't that, that, that just doesn't work out for me with, with health and wellness products. It's just not my jam. Skincare, that's my jam. I love makeup too, um, but skincare is, is my jam. That's where I'm at. Uh, you have to have a beautiful canvas before you can get the makeup on. So, um, and I just love the whole healing aspect of skincare products and what they can do for someone's physical appearance and their soul. Oh, um, it's important. But my point is, I guess, getting back, let's, go, let's go back to the beginning here. Um, it's super important to know what you're getting yourself into. You have to love the products and do your research on who you are joining with. Many people will say that you don't have to have a sponsor that is really active in the business to be successful in the business, but I'm telling you, it really makes a huge difference in just the whole experience and how that company works out for you. It really, really does. Um, I honestly feel like finding the right sponsor is a huge part of being successful. Um, I suppose there are some people that are you know, really driven and probably can figure it out on all their own. Um, but there's a lot of people that do direct sales that 
do direct sales part-time because they have a full-time job or they have other obligations and they, they don't have the time commitment and getting started with direct sales to be able to do it full-time. Um, and now, uh, you know, back 10 years ago, you know, you were doing in-home parties. Now, yes, social media is amazing. So you can have an amazing outreach, but there's still a lot of other things that go into it. There's still a lot of people that aren't comfortable with social media. So you still need to have some tools and some resources in getting yourself started. So please, please, before you click the join button, make sure that you know who you're joining, reach out to the person that you that you would like to join and have a conversation. And sometimes just even talking to someone over the phone, you can feel their vibe, you can hear their vibe and see if that's going to be a good fit for you. Or even that person may be able to get you connected to someone that would be a better fit for you. So. Those are a couple of my tips there. Um, know the company that you're joining. Know the sponsor that you're joining. Make sure that you can trust them. Um, we here on my team, um, and when I say my team, I mean everyone that has joined with me, but also everyone that has joined beside me as far as like people that are under my sponsor, um, we actually care about you. We care about the person that's joining. It's not just about the money. It's not just about a paycheck. And I'm telling you, some people are, I mean, the paycheck is like the, it's like the icing on the cake, right? But this is really a people business. You have to be interested in people um, to be able to advance anywhere in this kind of business. It's selling, it's sharing, it is helping, it is serving. So those, those are some things that you kind of have to think about before you join a direct sales company because those are all very, very important components. Um, and some people, you know, they, they join companies or they change companies because uh, they can see the, the money that, that they're after or whatnot. But it's, it's not the money that, I mean, as I've done this for a while now, and I'm actually making some paychecks, I will say. Feel free to reach out to me if you've got questions and you want to know how much I'm making. Um, you can actually make money at direct sales. It is work, but that's not also what it's all about. It's not just about the paycheck and the people that join on our team. They're not just about a paycheck. You know, I am genuinely concerned about what they want to do here. You know, some people don't want to do anything and that's totally fine. Some people actually do want to try and see what they can do and see if they can make some money. And my team actually cares about the people and what they want to do. So people and our, and our product, I'll just share our product is something that is simple and something that is affordable and something that is very effective and guess what that's that's what people want these days they want something that is affordable and effective and simple um so that's another fantastic reason why you should think about joining palmafera if you are interested in sharing like body care and skincare products because we're just really getting started with our line um, after the first of the year, we're going to expand our hair care products into shampoo and conditioner and it's, it's, we're just getting started here. So if those are some things that are interesting to you, then you should check it out. Uh, but we do have a support system in our team and I would not be able to do what I've been able to do without that support system because I simply do not have the time and the ability to train all the people that come in, uh, develop all the systems and the programs for the onboarding and the, the sharing the this, the sharing the that. <laughs> I mean, 
I have to have a strong support system and I really feel like I have been able to find that here at Palmafera with, with the team that I am on. Uh, like I said, most people work full time. They do this part time. So we need those resources. We need direction and we need to be able to reach out to someone to ask questions uh, when we when we have questions and we need answers. So I've been able to find that here. We have tremendous support. Um, and then you also need to be able to, you know, work with someone that can troubleshoot with you with like, um, if you're having some, like we're selling skincare, right? So not everyone's skin is going to be 100% perfect every single time that you put the products on the face. And I don't care what kind of skincare line you're selling. That's the way it goes. Again, I've been selling skincare for years. So I know that not every formula works for everyone. However, we have been highly, I would say we have a high success rate in uh, getting people some products that really, really work for them. Um, but you also have to be able to be willing to troubleshoot in certain circumstances when um, there's dry skin issues, there's breakouts, there's sensitivity, all of those things, allergies, all of those things come into play when selling skincare. Uh, but we have some magnificent estheticians on our team that have been so great in um, sharing tips and ways to kind of overcome any issues that might arise. Um, but those are important things to think about too, because you are selling a product. What are you going to do when that product doesn't work out, you know? Um, and I'll just share, I had, had a experience with like a jewelry company and I didn't realize how much effort and energy can go into um, jewelry when jewelry doesn't fit right or if it breaks or, you know, so any company that you join, you're going to have um, customer service issues to deal with. And so you want to make sure that you are representing a product that you are willing to problem solve and figure out and help people with, um, with whatever they've purchased. It's just part of the deal. This is no magic bullet um, business where you just put the product out there or you put yourself out there and people buy it. No, it is a service industry. Um, and it's it's selling and sharing a product. <laughs> so you kind of have to be willing to do all of those things. Um, and I like to kind of say that if you don't have a servant's heart, you really need not apply. Uh, you should not be building a team or selling products to people that you just don't feel like you want to service them or have any kind of a servant's heart. This is a business and it's important to run it as such. Um, let's see. So I used to think, I'll just, and I'll wrap it up here. So pay attention to the company that you're joining. Pay attention to the sponsor that you want to join. Um, of course, I would love it if you joined Palmafera. We have an awesome special this month, too. It's $69 to join us, by the way. But um, I used to think that direct sales was for everyone. Like, everyone should do it. Everyone can do it. Um, but as I've gotten older and wiser, I will definitely say that direct sales really isn't for everyone. Uh, you definitely do have to have a servant's heart. Um, it's not just about, I mean, the dream is huge. The opportunities within direct sales are huge. However, you, you still have to be willing to put in the work and in order to do the work, you have to take time to do the work, right? So then you're usually giving up something else important in your life, like a hobby or sometimes family time or um, 
and sometimes doing things that you don't always like to do. Uh, but also, not, not only do you have to have like a, a servant's heart with this to be really, really, truly successful. I mean, I have seen some people that have really kind of climbed to the top um, and not necessarily the sweetest at heart, uh, but they have, you know, like a, a charisma about them and people follow them. Um, sometimes that catches up to you in, in different ways eventually, but just really think about who you're joining. Think about the company that you're joining. Think about the products. Uh, will you even use the products with the company that you're joining? <laughs> you know, if you're not gonna use the products, then you're not gonna sell the products either, unfortunately. So these are all important things to think about. Um, but if you can get past all of those and check the boxes and those all fit your bill, then you absolutely should be here and join here. You know, uh, with Palmafera, you can actually sell and really not have the pressure of building a team. Um, a team takes time and it takes patience and it takes a skill. Uh, and I'm growing into that. I'm not perfect at that, but I'm willing to learn and I'm willing to do the work and not everybody is. So I would also say that if you're not interested in helping develop people, then don't have anyone join your team either because it's just sad when people join people and it just doesn't work out. And that's a lot of the reason why this industry gets a bad rap. So I totally believe in direct sales. I totally believe that it is an opportunity like no other. And if you want to know more about my opportunity in Palmafera, please reach out to me and let's have a conversation. And like I said, um, our business box this month, you get the full size business box for just $69. So we'd love to have you here. Um, you are important here on our team and we'd love to have you. So that's all I got for you. Hopefully you, you take some little nuggets from my ramblings and <laughs> hopefully you find it a little useful for yourself. So thanks so much for watching and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.